Once upon a time, there was a man named Jack and a girl named Jill, and there was a mountain. What? Man, who are you kidding? This ain't no fairy tale. This is an adventure. We're at Boone Todd Marine Sanctuary. It's a protected reef here in Masbetty City, and we're doing it. Let's go. Today's adventure takes us to Philippines' stunning gem, the Boone Todd Reef Marine Sanctuary and Sandbar. But before we dive into this paradise, let me rewind a bit. In our previous vlog, we savored Masbati City's renowned grilled squid, which unexpectedly altered the trajectory of our adventure. Yeah. Oh, got a toothpick in the back. There's a toothpick right there. Yes. If you missed that, we'll provide the link below for you to relish the deliciousness we experienced in Masbati. During our extensive exploration, we stumbled upon a peculiar island marked on the map in Masbati, not too far from our current location. Ooh, look at that dot there. That's a marine sanctuary. Intrigued, we sought advice from locals on how to reach it. However, we had no clue about its appearance or the route to get there. The journey to Buntod Marine Sanctuary kicked off by finding the boatman at Rendezvous Resort, following the tricycle hey, driver's tip. How much? 300? Yeah, you got the joke. <laughs> That's how we gained access to this magnificent sanctuary. The Buntoad Sandbar and Reef Marine Sanctuary lie near Masbate City, nestled amidst the waters connecting two barangays, Nursery and Tugbo, in the Bicol region of the Philippines. The water's really high. It's up six foot, so over the next couple hours, it's going to be dropping down around four foot, maybe three foot while we're here. There aren't any restaurants on site, However, you can pre-order meals from the city or bring your cooked food if you plan to have lunch there. Additionally, you'll find light snacks, chips, and drinks available at the Sari Sari store near the main registration area. Man, this is just amazing. This white sand. Lots of corals. Obviously, there's a lot of reef around here. The area suffered from severe abuse and neglect due to illegal fishing activities. However, in 2001, a glimmer of hope emerged with the establishment of the 250 hectare marine sanctuary. Despite its painful past, it's now a protected area boasting vibrant coral reefs for snorkeling and scuba diving. Presently, the Buntod Reef Marine Sanctuary holds the esteemed second position among the most resilient marine sanctuaries in Central Philippines. So this is the second most visited coral reef in the Philippines. It's a highly protected area. They're very strict out here on what you can and can't do. We're gonna do some snorkeling here before the clouds come in, but let's go check out the mangroves. This sanctuary prohibits fishing and similar activities, reserving access primarily for tourism. It's a success story for Masbate City, transforming a sandbar once devastated by dynamite fishing into an ecotourism gem. Now tourism offers a sustainable livelihood, providing local fishermen with eco-friendly alternatives. And they got all the little cottages. Everything here is just made out of what's available. You know, all this is all bamboo and then some tree trunks and stuff like this. You know, they bring out the coconuts. They eat the coconuts here. Actually, you know what? They might even wash up. What do you think, Mel? You think people bring these coconuts? Or are they washing up? They use this for campfire for cooking their, their fish and stuff like this. And the roof looks like it needs some repair. Even the roofs are made out of natural material. Um, it's a leaf. I forgot the name of it. Mel, what's the name of this leaf? Nipa. Nipa. Anyways, we're getting kind of far into this island. <laughs> Mangroves demonstrate remarkable resilience in their ability to thrive, despite the harsh conditions they face. Their survival hinges on a range of remarkable adaptations, such as a filtration mechanism that prevents excessive salt intake and an intricate root system that anchors them in the ever-shifting sediments where land and water merge. Beyond mere survival, these ecosystems sustain a diverse array of species, some of which are exclusively found in mangrove forests. Scientists increasingly recognize the vital role of mangrove swamps in supporting both our own well-being and the overall health of the planet. The water is probably at its peak temperature for the year. Rain season just started a couple weeks ago. So from here, the temperature just starts 
dropping slightly, but it feels like warm salt bath water. Can't beat it, love the Philippines. The highlight here is swimming and beach fun, so it's best to be dressed in swimwear before arriving. Wear clothes that you're comfortable getting wet in during the boat ride. Remember, there aren't any shower facilities on the reef. All right, so we're gonna go snorkeling. There's a reef that's all, well, there's a reef that's all the way around the island, sandbar that we're on. But we're going over here, this is the good spot. We're gonna lose audio, can't take audio under the water, so sit back, enjoy the collage of different videos and stuff like that, we'll see in a couple. Each visit contributes to the sustainability of this paradise, supporting ecotourism and providing local fishermen with a greener livelihood. From its painful past to its vibrant present, this sanctuary stands as a testament to nature's resilience and our dedication to preserving it. But wait, our adventure doesn't end here. We didn't just explore this sanctuary, we ventured further to a secluded island called Burabuncaso. Amidst our exploration, we discovered the breathtaking waterfalls cascading directly into the sea. All right, we dove out there. It was pretty nice. It wasn't uh, most exotic corals, but we've seen a lot of cool stuff, cucumbers and, and little fish, and a couple big fish when we first started went in, uh, but we could see them, all the big fish were swimming out. We came back up, man, massive storm. You can't even see mountains anymore. You can't see the neighboring islands. It's gonna be an adventure getting home. This is getting pretty crazy. Let me show you what's going on out here. It's gonna be wet. Look, you can't even see anything. Wow, I don't know if you can see me, but what you're gonna see is some uh, videos up here that Google thinks you like. Some videos down below are similar to this. Until next time, friends, we love you. We'll talk soon.